Hello guys to the seventh episode of Shalka No Fear Road to Glory where we go to glory with Shalka No Fear based on data I just came back to you it's not the end of the season yet we're in fourth as you can see here um, it hasn't ended yet two more games to play I'm gonna show you everything in a bit but first I wanted to show you this message that we got so the initial wage budget is 1 million together with 55 transfer budget which means that we can spend almost 55 million and 263 in the wage budget which is insane money for a club that actually has still 287 net depth but I guess the club thinks we're gonna do better so they already gave us a huge transfer budget which we can definitely work with um, we're still, as you can see, nine six million in depth. Uh, but I think the money from the Bundesliga that we're going to get this season is going to be okay. Anyway, that's one of the one of what I wanted to show you at first. I will be back once the season has finished and once the new season has begun. Hello, guys. Here we are, the end of the season review, season 25, 26. Second season in the Bundesliga. Let's see how we did. First things first, we go to the new arrivals. We have Mason Greenwood. 24 goals, 9 assists in 43 uh, games, which is pretty nice. Arthur with 39 games, 3 goals, 11 assists. Also great. Isaacson, Zitzinger. All of these players we brought in as well. For not too cheap, uh, not too expensive. Mason uh, Greenwood actually on a free. So very nice, all of these signings. We only made eight last season, so not too many. Uh, Lotka didn't really play a lot, uh, neither did Gerhardt. They were just backup options. But Kodira, 39 games, an average of 6.8, not too bad. Then four transfers out, of course, this is what you saw through the season. We sold a lot of that weight and a starter in Köln. He went to Altaun and some loans, of course, but they don't really matter. Let's go to the season results, see how we did or how the Portit uh, thought that we did. So we came in fourth, as you can see, uh, under Bayern. Bayern didn't win the league, so crisis at the club uh, from München, but nothing we should be worried about because for us that's only good. Our average home attendance was for 95% filled. We have a B from the board that we reached the Champions League. Then right here, we became runners-up. Uh, we lost 2-2 against Atletico, as you can see here. Or we lost on penalties. Uh, we were the better that game, but for some reason, we just couldn't get the goal in, got the goals in that we needed. So unfortunately, we lost there. Also, 95% home attendance, which is good. And the Dave Baby call, you already saw, we got knocked out by uh, St. Pauli in the second round, which was a bit disappointing. But anyway, the top scorer for us, Guadal... Uh, Uwe Drago here, Asan. Let's go to the moments to remember. Of course, the biggest win, 5-0 against Stuttgart. Match to remember, 4-0 against Hoffenheim. And the goal of the season was made by Greenwood. Um, I won't show you it because it's really not that uh, interesting most of the time. So let's go to the finances. Uh, right here, national, um, our reputation didn't really change. We got, did get more sponsorship in, more broadcasting, more corporate and hospitality and more prize money the prize money is mainly because we have a higher finishing position in the bundesliga and we did get a lot of prize money from the conference league commercial revenue has stained about the same half a million more a couple more shirts uh, 10 million i think was also the last year and of course greenwood isaacson and gerhard the three that are brought in they're selling really nicely so let's check how we lined up. This was our starting lineup. So Zinger would who actually did really well for us. Arthur and Eilin uh, as our wingbacks. Schallenberg in the middle. Erbic in goal. Kunze and Kadira as our ball-winning midfielders. And Segundo Falante. Isaksen as our shadow striker. Quadrago. Wedrago, I should say. Uh, as our inside forward. And Greenwood and El Sad as our starting uh Attacking forwards. So as you can see, Mason Greenwood with the most goals. Then Uwe Drago. And also Sad also pitching in with 14 goals. So not too bad. And assist-wise, Arthur, Uwe Drago and Edlin. So our wingbacks really helping us get those assists in, which is nice. So let's go for the accolades. Um, fans player of the season, Mason Greenwood actually gets everything except for most assists. So Mason Greenwood really uh, proving that he's worth uh, his wages that we put him on. And of course, Asan got the 
NXXGN uh, award, which is very nice. They have one hat trick by Uwe Drago, some assists by Arthur that also broke some records. The youngest player, Martin Busch, he's a, a youngster from uh, from us. He's developing very nicely, played some games for the first team. All in all, we did very, very well. Century of matches at my 100th match I did again this year in this February 2026 so that's nice I'm currently scouting a lot of people a lot of uh, players here and I always already wanted to get ahead uh, with getting some players in so right here uh, support the profile we have uh, 800,000 more social media followers which is great I do think season ticket holders 42,000 and there's a waiting list of 70,000 so that means that we actually if we are able to let's just expand the the, the the stadium but i don't know if i can um get the board to do that with me let's discuss what the, what we want to do for next season um i don't really want to say anything about that because it will only give promises which i maybe can't keep and let's go on the training camp to italy let's confirm that um as Gustav isaacson is is back so what I want to do if we look at the starting team right here is there's a lot of that way that I want to move on. I think I want to upgrade uh, my back two. So Ron Schallenberg and Seizinger I really want to upgrade and maybe one in my midfield. Also another striker would be nice to upgrade the team. I think a few people are leaving. I think Pfeiffer is leaving, Finn Becker is leaving, Weiss and Basic might be leaving, Matriani and Gerhard might be leaving. I think these four are staying so that's good and these are the four youngsters that I was talking about they all have high potential so we have martin bush who uh, we are training as an inside forward looking very nicely then we have kasongo who is our we are training as a uh, advanced forward who's also very good 182 with 15 heading Wiedemeyer, who is a right back also developing quite nicely could become a rotation player for us and tobias winmer our actual legend who played i think a few games yeah four games four games four from the bench so he did play a lot from us this season and he's looking very very good as in that segundo volante position where we're trying to train him right here so the only thing he doesn't really have is long shots but the rest of it looks very good so he might already be able to contribute something in the first team Anyway, that's it for how we did last season. I am going to come back to you once I've made some more signings and we, I will see you then. Hello guys and welcome back. Here we are, end of the transfer window. As you can see, we're in six right now. Played three games, a uh, win against Mainz, a very, very painful loss against Köln. And then a 4-2 win against Borussia Mönchengladbach. We've made a lot of signings. I don't think any of them are here yet so let's go on and show you what we've done so first things first let's go to the outs we have sold arthur uh, our starting right back for 25.5 mil million but it could become a lot more uh, we bought him in for 6.7 and this was just too good to let go of uh, we sold him on and then we put uh, we arranged our team a little bit so we still have someone in that right back position then henning matrianzi <coughs> also left we got him on a free. He was already in our game for 30 million. He was only a backup for us. The first season he was a starter, but then he just was a backup. So we just got rid of him. We didn't really need him anymore. Then Tyler Bulut, the guy who went out on loan for a couple of seasons. Um, we now sold him on to uh, Mines because we didn't really need him and we could use the money. Finn Becker left also for 2.7 to Genoa. Um, not really a, a anywhere starting player for us. We just bought him in for 600k as a rotation and he did pretty okay. Sold him on for like a 2 million profit. Then Baumgartel left as well. 2.5 million was a starter the first two seasons. But after that just uh, didn't really uh, get to play anymore. So he is off to Augsburg. And we also have gotten rid of Luca Pfeiffer. Um, who we bought in for 800k didn't play for us it was just a backup maybe a little bit of a miss buy but anyway he uh, is gone now um, <clears throat> then also Slottenberg is uh, off to Olympique Lyon 
And Middlestad is off to HSV, but they both um, are joining permanently, I think, at the end of their loan. And also, um, one important thing to mention, Janne Kerracht also left to Empoli, which is nice. We, we brought him on on the free, but we don't really need him anymore. And Ben Starde also left uh, on loan because I had some other options in the striker position and I wanted him to improve still. So what did we bring in? Well, let me tell you, a lot. Let's start with Rogerio, who we brought in from Wolfsburg. Just a backup left back, uh, really nice, uh, with some pretty good stats. Um, 35k, so a bit expensive, but uh, nothing we can do about that. Then all of these free transfers, I won't go through all of them, but Gabriel Melo here is like a backup striker who we also loaned out immediately. Elias is a backup left back, you already saw that I think last episode. Um, the one, no 31 is probably Samueli Mata. Mulatiri, he is our uh, backup striker, and Malik Tillman, of course, we brought in on a very cheap wage, 42k, with a backup player. So 50k out, 130k in. Let me show you how that also went. We brought in another backup uh, center back. This guy is going to be retrained as a center back. Um, we needed someone to replace Baumgartel and Slotterbeck who left. Then also Luca Jangen who we are training as a Segundo Volante, uh, bought in for, I think, 5 million. Yeah, he's just a very good Segundo Volante to have a backup player. It's always nice. Then we also bought in 8.5 million Franco. I, I think he's our starting Segundo Volante. Yeah, he is. So very good stats as a Segundo Volante. Tackling 14, everything above 13, which is just nice, except for his physicals, but that is okay. Then, big signing, Tyro Malasia. A left back. Uh, I just had money to spend, and I thought, okay, I really want the best wing back that we can get. So Tyra Malasia is in for 30 and, 30 and a half million on a pretty expensive contract. But we're playing Champions League now, so we need Champions League level players, and Tyra Malasia definitely is that. Then also the first signing I made is Alberto Molero. <laughs> A versatile uh, attacking uh, player who can play on the left, in the middle and on the right. Also maybe in that midfield position if we want to. Um, 33.5k, pretty expensive, but he's doing pretty well for a 7.3 rating. So not too bad about that. And then the biggest signing of them all, Manu Kone, 50 million from Lens. He's He was the best player that we could sign in that position. As you can see, 16 dribbling, 15 passing, 17 technique, and mentally a beast together with that, uh, add that with the physicals that he has. He's one of the best players that we will get. On 140k a week, quite a lot. Uh, we are currently retaining him as a ball playing defender because we want to play him there with his 17 technique and his 16 dribbling, which means also he can play in that midfield positions if we want to. Very versatile player, definitely a Champions League worthy player. So bought him in on a pretty uh, expensive transfer. But anyway, that's uh, the business that we did. Then let's, if we go to the transfers, actually, you can see what others we tried to go, go, get in. We also tried to get Tom Rothe in, which I really wanted. It was either him or Malasia. Uh, Rothe was, if I looked at my data sheet, a bit less good than uh, Malasia. Malasia was like star class, and this guy was like a few levels below. So that's why I wanted Malasia in. But he was also on our radar. He has a little bit worse uh, with physicals, mentals, and, 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 and technicals, but he's very well rounded. Then let's go and take a look at the finances. I think we barely have any transfer budget left. Yeah, so 104 million. The finances are looking quite good. We have 99 million in the bank balance, which is great. And I don't really get why we're not just paying off this nept debt. So we don't really have to pay a lot of um, the things there. Of course, transfer debt, 47 million, kind of expected because we have a lot of uh, sell-on clauses or uh, installments that we have to pay. So doing pretty well, bringing it up there. The income is steadily rising. And that's the thing that's also rising throughout the seasons is our weight budget. When we started, we were only at 500k. And now we're playing Champions League. And it's scooted up by 1.2 million. So we started last season at seven, uh, 750,000. And now we're at 1.2 million. And let me show you where we're spending that. Because that's uh, a really, really uh, high increase. Of course, we have now two of our new signings. Alberto Molero and Kone are both on 65k a week and more. Kone is on 140k, so by far 
uh, our, our biggest player, our biggest uh, earner. Then also Franco Tillman and uh, Luca Ir. I'm not even gonna try Luca. They're both on. Uh, they're all on 35k or more. So you see, like the wages are going up quite a lot. Um, I only have like a few more players here on the on the bottom. Uh, Asad was a starter for us, is now a backup. He is on like 70k a week, but the rest is almost above 30k a week. So that's really something to look out for, uh, that we don't start spending uh, too much money on them. Um, also, Rani Kadira signed a new contract. He was on 60k. He's now on 37.5. We brought him in as our biggest signing. I think a couple of seasons ago, he was the best player in our team by far. If I looked at the ratings in my data sheet, but he's now falling off a little bit. So he's our backup. So let me show you how the squad is looking in this third full season when we go into the uh, fourth season, I think. Uh, we should go to tactics and then click on main and you'll see how we're looking. So Jonas Urbic still in goal. We brought him in for 4 million two seasons ago. He's doing pretty okay for us. So very happy with him. The, our new signing Malasia is in together with Kone and Z Singer now in the backup uh, in the defense. Then uh, Mehmet Aydin who had a backup uh, job last season is now a starter again on that right position because Arthur has left. So that's all good. Then Fabian Kunze is our ball-winning midfielder with Franco our new Volunga uh, uh, Segunda Volante, um, which means that Kadira has gone to the bench. Molero as our shadow striker, Quadrago as our inside forward, Greenwood and Isaacson as our advanced forwards. Isaacson, who's very versatile, can play almost anywhere. Uh, I don't like these red arrows, but I think it's because he's developing into the advanced of, of, uh, forward or the advanced uh, forward position. And then as the backups, we have Marcel Lotka, who's still in here, who and Gilberto, who we just brought in as well on the free. Um, very old right back, but he will do the job. Then Schallenberg and Alvero are our new uh, backup stri or backup defenders. Uh, Schallenberg was our starting uh, ball playing defender last season, but of course with the arrival of Manu Kone, he's no longer that. Then Rani Kadera and Luca are our backup ball winning midfielders and Segunda Volantes and then right here we have a couple of people here Malik Tillman, Elias Sayed, uh, Heisen Basic and Mulateri they will be playing for that last for uh, those um, for the attacking positions they can all really play there if you look at all the, these guys they can all really fulfill those positions very nicely so it's not really where we want to play them but I think the most playing time will go to Saad and Tillman um, and of course, we still have our youngsters here, which unfortunately I couldn't loan out. So I'm going to try to uh, play them as much as possible so they get some more playing time. And they will also be playing for the second team, uh, which they also did last season. Um, so anyway, that's all I wanted to show you. We have been drawn into the Champions League as well. So um, we are playing Besiktas, Atalanta, Real Madrid, HSV, Feyenoord, Lens and uh, Michetat, Micheland. Uh, oh, oh, wait, and also Benfica and Arsenal, so pretty tough group, but I think we should be able to uh, make it out. Um, probably going to finish somewhere around 9th and 24th, that's the dream in here anyway. Um, of course, it's funny because we sold Arthur to Feyenoord, our starting right back, so really looking forward to that. And we bought um, Kone from Lens, so also very looking forward to that. I think from these games, we should lose maybe to go against Real Madrid. Arsenal, Benfica, uh, Lens might be pretty tough as well. But I think the rest we shouldn't really be careful or afraid about. Then the second round of the Bacal we're playing at Heesvau. And that's going to be it. Um, what I will do is I will come back to you when the January transfer window has uh, ended or when it has started. Show you how we've done and if we're making any sales or, as any sales or buying any players in. Probably going to be... Uh, free contract uh, players which will join the next year but I'm not sure about that yet if you want to see how I make all these signings please do please do check out the link in the description there's a link to a video there you will find uh, how I make my choices and how I uh, get players in I use a data sheet for that and it's all explained in there Anyway, if you've enjoyed this series or this episode, please do leave a like and subscribe down below. That makes me know that you guys like it and I will continue the video and otherwise I will start making something else. Anyway, once again, thanks for watching.
I hope you've enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next one. Take care.